Let mom tell you what happened to me in the good old days. You couldn't do nothing you wanted to do. And you better not open your mouth. If you did, they'd knock your brains out. <laughs> they hit my brother in his mouth so much with a backhanded lick until his lips is way out here. <laughs> Looked like he got on a turtleneck sweater. Everything your parents picked for you to do, who do you to love, who you to go out with, who you even to marry. Think of somebody picking somebody for you got to spend the rest of your days with. Make no difference what condition it was in. If daddy said so, that was it. And I was nothing but a child. Nothing but a child, 14 going on 15 years old. And just as cute as I want to be. <laughs> Hair hanging down my back. See, I'm half Indian. And the other half, the beauty parlor takes care of that. <laughs> and this old, dead, puny, moldy man. I mean an old man. Santa Claus looked like his son. He was older than his mother. He was older than his sister died. We went to the funeral. After the funeral, the minister walked over, tapped him on the back. Said, how old are you, pops? He said, 91. He said, ain't no need you going home. And his brother was older than he was and married a girl 13. He had lived for five days. <laughs> Took three undertakers a week to get the smile off his face. He lay in a bed. <laughs> First time I ever seen him bear a man with no top on the casket. <laughs> My daddy liked him. I had to marry that old man. My daddy should have married him. He the one who liked him. The nearest thing to death you've ever seen in your life. His shadow weighed more than he did. He got out of breath threading a needle. <laughs> and ugly. He was so ugly, he hurt my feelings, that's the truth. <laughs> he was just so ugly, he had to tip up on a glass to get a drink of water. I'm not <laughs> <laughs> he, <laughs> he was so ugly, he had a job at a doctor's office, standing beside the door making people sick. <laughs> One day I said to him, I said, you get that number? He said, what number? I said, the number of that truck that run over your face. <laughs> One night I said to him, I said, come on, darling, let's be sociable. He went out and bought a case of Pepsi-Cola. he never would die. Rat poison agreed with him. I never forget when we went up to get married. We stand up in front of the man. The man looked at me and said, will you take this man? Some undertaker jumped up and said, I will. <laughs> oh, I thought he never would die. I shouldn't talk like that about him, no. He did. They say he mustn't say nothing about the dead unless you can say something good. He did good. <laughs> I 
I know he did because I had him cremated. I burn him up. I determined he's going to get hot one time anyhow. Don't you know the undertaker had nerve enough to call me up talking about do I want the ashes? I said, hell no, burn them up too. I don't want nothing. <laughs> <laughs>